NASA and its international partners have recently updated their calculations for asteroid 2024 YR4. This near-Earth object was initially given a 2% chance of impacting Earth in 2032. While that number may sound concerning, experts say it is just a preliminary estimate based on limited data. As more observations are made, the risk is expected to decrease significantly. In this video, we will break down what this new risk assessment means and how scientists calculate these numbers. We will also look at asteroids similar to 2024 YR4 that started with a small impact risk but were later ruled out as threats. Finally, we will discuss other near-Earth objects, including asteroids and comets, that scientists are closely monitoring. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how these space rocks are tracked and why continuous monitoring is important for planetary defense. Asteroid 2024 YR4 became a topic of interest when early calculations showed a 2% chance that it could hit Earth in 2032. This number was based on initial observations from telescopes in Chile. Because astronomers had only tracked it for a short period, there was a lot of uncertainty about its exact path. NASA and the European Space Agency expect this risk estimate to change as they gather more data. When astronomers discover a new asteroid, they use telescopes to measure its position in the sky. By taking multiple images over time, they can track its movement and estimate its orbit around the Sun. The more observations they make, the more accurate their predictions become. In the case of 2024 YR4, upcoming observations from the Webb Space Telescope will help refine its size and path. A similar situation happened with asteroid Apophis, which was once thought to be a potential danger. Early calculations showed a small chance of impact in 2029. However, as scientists gathered more data, they were able to rule out any possibility of a collision. The same process is now happening with 2024 YR4. NASA's experts say the 2% risk estimate is not something to worry about, as it will likely drop to zero after further analysis. This step-by-step -step tracking is a normal part of asteroid monitoring. Scientists use advanced computer models to predict where an asteroid will be in the future. These models consider factors like the gravity of nearby planets and the pressure of sunlight pushing on the asteroid. While early calculations may show a small risk, they are refined over time as more data becomes available. This is why the 2% impact risk for 2024 YR4 is not considered a final prediction, but rather a starting point for further study. Many asteroids go through the same risk assessment process as 2024 YR4. When they are first discovered, there is often a small chance of impact. But in nearly all cases, this risk disappears after more observations are made. One well-known example is asteroid 2000 S G344. When it was first spotted, scientists calculated a small chance it could hit Earth in the 21st century. However, as more data was collected, they were able to rule out any threat. The same happened with asteroid 2011 AG5, which was once considered a possible risk, but is now known to be harmless. The reason for these changing risk estimates is simple. When an asteroid is first discovered, scientists only have a few days or weeks of data to work with. This means they can only estimate its orbit with limited accuracy. As more observations are made over time, they refine their calculations and get a clearer picture of its path. In most cases, this leads to the impact probability dropping to zero. NASA and other space agencies track thousands of near-Earth objects, and each year, they find new ones. Most of these asteroids start with a low impact risk that quickly decreases. This shows how well scientists can predict and monitor space rocks that come close to Earth. While 2024 YR4's early impact probability of 2% might seem concerning, it is actually within the normal range for newly discovered asteroids. Just like other space rocks before it, 
the risk will likely be eliminated once further observations confirm its true orbit. While 2024 YR4 will most likely be ruled out as a threat, there are other near-Earth objects that scientists are keeping an eye on. These include both asteroids and comets that pass close to our planet. One of the most famous near-Earth asteroids is 101955 Bennu. Bennu is about 1,600 feet, 500 meters across, making it much larger than 2024 YR4. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft recently studied Bennu up close, bringing back samples to Earth. While Bennu does have a very small chance of impacting Earth in the late 2100s, scientists say the probability is less than 0.1%. This means it is not an immediate concern, but it remains one of the most closely monitored asteroids. Another object of interest is asteroid 1950DA. This asteroid has a very long orbit, and initial calculations showed a tiny chance of impact in the year 2880. However, as with other asteroids, scientists expect further observations to lower this probability. Comets can also pose a risk, but they are more difficult to predict than asteroids. Unlike asteroids, which tend to follow stable orbits, Comets often come from the outer solar system and can have unpredictable paths. While no known comet currently poses a serious threat to Earth, astronomers continue to monitor them carefully. The good news is that NASA and other space agencies are working on ways to protect Earth if a dangerous object is ever found. In 2022, NASA's DART mission successfully tested a method to change the orbit of an asteroid by crashing a spacecraft into it. This showed that humans have the ability to redirect an asteroid if one were ever on a collision course with Earth. Thanks to modern technology, scientists are able to track thousands of space objects and predict their paths with increasing accuracy. If a real threat were detected, there would likely be years or even decades of warning time allowing experts to take action. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more space updates and let us know in the comments what space topics you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next video.